Energy and Mineral Resources Minister Gwede Mantasha, meanwhile, responding today to calls for him to be sacked because of the energy crisis. Calls have mounted from several organizations as Eskom continues to roll out various stages of load shedding. Mantasha spoke to Artem Tsangana. None of the president uh, responded to issues that were raised in the debate comprehensively and answered all the questions, but questions will not end because we are engaged in a debate in an ongoing basis. That is the function of parliament. Now, you have received a lot of criticism from the opposition with regards to how uh, the government, and particularly the announcements by the president on how to deal with the energy crisis, saying you should be fired, uh, Minister Pravin Gordon should be fired, and what is the use of an electricity minister when you are there as the Minister of Energy? Now, a problem of South Africans, including journalists, by the way, is that they never apply their mind to what is happening. ESCOM has historically been in, in public enterprise, historically. Actually, I mean the Minister of Energy for four years, I never managed ESCOM. Now, all of a sudden, it's my baby, and there is load shedding. We all contribute to try to find solutions to that. If the President says, let's have a project management approach to it and focus on it, a dedicated minister, I, I spend no sleepless nights about that. And if I must be fired for that, then I don't know why should I be fired. Mining is doing well, energy is doing well. Those that are saying that it is difficult for those at the helm at ESCOM to make decisions because of uh, the red tape that surrounds them insofar as the governing party is concerned, what do you say to those reports? Red tape is not a, a word, it's practice. And if you say there's red tape, you must be able to say, I applied for Section 34 determination, I didn't get it or I applied for this license, I didn't get it. And if you, have, you didn't get it, I never received an explanation. Let me give you an example. ESCOM has been allowed to get into renewables in the IRP in 2019. ESCOM has been allowed to import energy. If they want more, we allow that to, to happen. But if they want to be a wholesaler of, of this, we say no. Wholesaling is for people with customers. Then that is not red tape, it's just a policy matter. How closely will you be working with this uh, electricity minister that you call a project manager? I will have to work close with, with that uh, uh, energy because I, I do regulation, I do policy. Do you have any idea who it might be since it's not announced yet? I don't know, it's not my business uh, to be. So no, they can appoint anybody. It's not my responsibility, it's above my pay, my pay rate. Thank you so much for your time. You. Minister Gwede Mandashe, the Minister of Energy uh, here in the country, saying that he will be working closely with uh, the uh, incoming Minister of Electricity. For Newsroom Africa on Channel 405, I'm Tim Tongana in Cape Town.